I hate being annoyed. You might think, I love GD. The game makes me happy. No! All semblance of structure and positivity in my life has been ruined since I was 11 years old. Drummish dash, huh? I said watching one of my classmates, most likely playing one of the new 1.9 levels. Looks pretty cool. Looks fun. Fast forward to now, and all I know is anger. The start, oh, the transition. And frustration. And when I'm more annoyed than usual after any of the numerous events, not only am I all for explaining my reasoning for being annoyed, not only am I occasionally wrong, but no matter how annoyed I get, I can basically never change anything in this game. Just like real life, but GD is somehow less satisfying. Robtop isn't going to overhaul the rating system overnight because I angrily said he should. Sunset Sandstorm is never getting a fun date, and if there's such thing as an unfun date, you can bet Fron would take the opportunity. Even the Mirror Portal, which is completely, absolutely, objectively terrible in every way, is never getting replaced despite my glowing, angry suggestion. Mirror Portal 2, baby! Fine! So clicking on this video and expecting me to rip into effect layouts is a bet that when you know money at the Selassie Casino poker table, it'd be a waste of time and energy. It will add nothing positive to the community and it'll probably just make you annoyed too, regardless of your opinions on effect layouts. So here's the deal. I'm not going to get annoyed throughout this entire thing. Never. I'm not going to make any wild comments directed at Robtop. Not going to insult Kron. Not going to do elaborate, sarcastic skits or call for a different rating system or portal replacement. So get your tea and crumpets ready or deep fried butter sticks if you're North American. Because all I'm going to do is calmly explain why I personally dislike the idea of effect layouts getting rated. And if you personally like effect layouts, uh, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Um, I'll politely request that you watch this anyway. Who are these people? If you aren't aware, effect layouts look a little something like this, consisting of, surprisingly, a layout but spiced up with movement, background flashes, glow, and minimal effects. It's like a normal level but without the integrity, Oh no, sorry, misread the script, but without the block design. I should preface the rest of this with the fact that I'm not a creator. The only level I've made is XO with marginally better gameplay, and even then, making a level with better gameplay than XO is like if our spectro deleted its first level. No effort. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. So yeah, I'm um, kind of a big deal. I should also point out the fact that people can make what they want. I don't mind. However, fabrication isn't suddenly a good level by applying this mindset. I'm equally allowed to criticise levels as much as creators are allowed to make what they want. I don't know why I'm trying to cover myself this much. Only like 30 people are going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm more, not annoyed, inconvenienced by how others will perceive my distaste for effect layouts, rather than actual effect layouts. So let me address some frequently asked questions to de-stress a bit. Why should you care? Because I'm not entirely void of emotion yet, and so don't respond to every situation in my life with apathy. If it looks good, it looks good. I'll get to you later. Stop gatekeeping what gets rated. I'll stop gatekeeping what gets rated. When Spandrew apologises for Sari never clear. But honestly, the rating system is in such shambles right now that, yeah, I shouldn't care what gets rated this much. You know, ro sorry. The developer of Jumpstash was even thinking of adding a fourth tier of rate. Legendary, as if the first three were being used correctly. Guy says he'll use Legendary once a year. Dark Flares epic, so I'm never trusting this man again. You have extreme demons being held to entirely different standards. You have levels with abhorrent, genuinely terrible gameplay getting rated. You have creators with egos the size of my muscles, am I right, ladies? You have levels with high tiers of rating, but because Heinz could never release a bad level, right? Chaos? Chaos? You could tell me Rockopolis got rated yesterday and I'd be like, did they get epic or featured? It doesn't matter what's in your level so long as one of its pillars is serviceable. Bad levels have assimilated into society. Why should I care? Why do I care? What's the point in anything? You're having an existential crisis over future circles. Give me a second. Uh-oh, here comes me trying to be objective about something I know nothing about. Selassie, you can't criticise something unless you've done it before. Imagine playing Base Cave and thinking, yeah, this doesn't look too great. And then some contrarian who spends more time on Twitter than a live comes over and tells you your opinion doesn't matter because you haven't made a level before. Sorry. 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 
All I'm saying is, I still understand how level development works. And even if I'm barely a creator, I'm still a creator. Here's Elevation, my first actual level from 2.0. Laugh. Go ahead. Here's VLME, my second, a 1.0 level I made last year. You grinning? Feeling a little giggly? Shut up! VLME took me about a month of inconsistent effort to build. Coupled with the fact that this may as well have been my first level, and we'll say it could take the average player about a week to build. Is that off a little? Maybe a bit too short? Of course you have Kratos flaunting, this level was made in 3 days or I made 10 levels in a week in the description, which usually means either the air deco is bare bones or the gameplay is abysmal, but for normal levels made by people who actually care, it's a little different. How much time would it take for these people to add a couple of effects to VLME? Once again I'm not a creator and different people find creation easier or harder, but effect layouts take a huge dump on the major pillars of making a level and so guaranteed require a chunk less effort than a good normal level. I need to stress that, a good normal level, okay? These pillars being gameplay the easiest despite what you might think playing feature section levels which forget that jump draft players aren't psychic, block design how this gameplay is spruced up with unique structures, backgrounds and air deco filling out the spaces between the block design to have some substance to the level, and any effects giving levels a unique identity with more foreground type stuff. Aside from gameplay, raising and lowering the amount of time you focus on each of these bars gives each creator their unique style. Heinz focuses a lot on block design, quite a bit on air deco but not as much on effects. Kamal focuses an extreme amount on effects and not so much on gameplay. Definitely not so much on gameplay. Penata focuses more on gameplay and not as much on block design. And I focus a lot on garbage, you know, because there aren't enough bad levels in the game. But importantly, all these creators have made good levels in their own style, without every pillar being too high quality or low quality. Effect levels are like, yo simple effects, use the same block for my block design, air deco isn't in my vocabulary, maybe spend a lot of time on the gameplay but it's not necessary. This isn't a style or a different type of level, it's just lazy. You know, Bliss is probably one of the best effect layouts in the game and it's just... what? These two are good creators, I said an average creator wouldn't need to spend an extreme amount of time to make these levels, but Bergeros and Marwek, what kind of a name is Bergeros? Marwek? Did you slam your face on the keyboard? Oh, these two are good creators, and Bliss is only 60 seconds long. I'm ignoring how long it took to make the gameplay. Which is good. That's very cool, but still. And I know exactly what you're screaming at me. Selassie, buddy, the amount of effort you put into your level shouldn't dictate whether it gets rated or not. What even is effort? You gatekeeping now? If a level looks good, it looks good. Effort is arbitrary. What? And yeah, that's true. I poured my heart and soul into using Mega Hack 6 to copy Poltergeist Reborn. And it looks good, get it rated. Hey, why don't we rate challenges while we're at it? They're short as hell and the absolute best of them require as much effort as a Mega Club pop without an entire level to go along with it. But as long as it looks good, it looks good. Why don't we just release Mega Club parts at separate levels? Get them rated. What? That would be low effort? I thought effort was arbitrary. Sari never clear? It may have abysmal gameplay seemingly made to be awful and dated decoration, but it has some decoration. But it looks good, it looks good. Yo, these background flashes are crazy. Get it rated. What, I barely put any time into this? Effort's arbitrary. If it looks good, it looks good. 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 If it looks good, it And since we're rating levels on looks only, I suppose gameplay doesn't matter anymore. Why don't we just rate Wacropolis now? How about Game Over and Punch Drunk? Why don't I just trash this script? I think all voice uploads past 8 are at least good, but good scripts take a week or even two of semi-consistent effort to make. Then I have to record the audio and edit for two or three days. And I hate effort, but want to reap easy rewards by doing the bare minimum. Why don't I just upload a 10 second GD video, with one basic punchline and get 2 million views. Say, if it looks good, it looks good. Playing drum trash at 3am gone wrong, I almost died. Polly sucks at the UFO. Sign me up. Instead of going to university and slowly getting to the stage where I can become a well-paid programmer, why don't I just rob old ladies for money? If you haven't noticed, a massive amount of levels look good. And a lot of people have differing opinions 
or what exactly looks better than another level which looks good. Kid Smoke, ignoring the obvious amount of time and effort that went into crafting this specific atmosphere, looks ugly in my opinion. Should it be unrated then? Why even bother with this convoluted rating system if Bliss can stand next to levels like Sunset Sandstorm and Nightlife? All three of these levels look good, right? What? Sunset Sandstorm and Nightlife look better? But Bliss doesn't look bad, does it? Surprisingly, 80% of the time, more effort equals better level. Effect layouts, despite some perhaps looking good, take 1% of the effort of a level like Speedrun or In Silico. I suppose that doesn't matter. After all, if it looks good, it looks good. <gasps> uh, sorry, I m must have blacked out for a second. Um, where was I? Being polite, no wild comments, okay. <laughs> Imagine if I said something all annoyed like in my sleep. That would be funny. Limitations breed creativity. When you don't have much to work with, you stretch what you have to its limits. And effect layouts do provide some limitations to work around. You can't use more than a few blocks on what minimal block design you have. Effects are minimal, air deco is almost non-existent. But what exactly can you do with this template outside of this? Since I have a massive ego, I'm going to bring up VLME again. 1.0 levels, in some ways, provide good limitations. Obviously, since there aren't high-speed portals or blue pads in 1.0, I couldn't do anything fancy to sync with the music. I ended up using what I had to do this time justice, making this ending more fast-paced than the rest of the level despite not having speed changes. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. Similarly, when I look at levels like Gold Crest Palace and Fake Fusion Z, it's obvious the colour limitations for specific unique designs and effects. When I look at the tools available to effect layouts, I think, what's the point in having any limitations at all? Does that make sense? It's like a middle ground. You aren't restricted gameplay-wise, because then there'll be an actual challenge. You can only use certain blocks for block design, and that's something. And it. Effect layouts remind me of the challenge runs people did when 2.1 came out. Finger dash with only my foot. Club step blindfolded and the like. These restrictions seem arbitrary. You have to work hard to make a 1.0 level good. Is it really the same for these husks of a level we call effect layouts? I understand thinking this point is a little stupid. I also understand thinking this whole video is stupid. But I genuinely can't see where effect layouts can go. It's such a boring concept. But hey, I suppose Robtop likes them enough to rate them. He also apparently liked Hot Dog Redux enough to rate it. But... Nine Circles levels and effect layouts are similar in a lot of ways, which I'll get into in a second. But the difference is Nine Circles levels have evolved and gone through multiple phases, while effect layouts currently just exist now, with Bliss having been rated. Phase 1. Zobros releases Nine Circles, relatively fresh and new idea that hadn't been in a featured level before. Ignoring effect heavy 1.0 levels like LF0 and XO, and terrible levels like Dear Nostalgist and Chronicle Depression, Bliss seems to be the first featured effect layout. And, well, there isn't another featured level like it either? Phase 2, which effect layouts haven't entered yet. Nine Circles has very defined features. Long, fast wave sections with neon flashing lights, slope based ship sections, cool down cube at the end that makes me want to rip my hair out, a song from an artist who's made multiple similarly structured songs. And people catch on to this template of sorts. Fairy Dust is released and it's Nine Circles, but pink. Jawbreakers, Nine Circles, but blue. The realistic, poltergeist, fractured circles, Suddenly there are dozens of rated 9 circles levels, which look roughly the same. Crimson Clutter was one of the last 1.9 9 circles levels, and even it doesn't add much to the original formula, other than a ship section. Now, effect layouts aren't as much of a perfect storm of copyable stuff, but it's close enough. By the way, it's fine to make a level that has similar ideas to another. The star grinders need stars after all. Pretty sure Polly would die if he doesn't beat a demon every 13 days, but wouldn't you find it boring if every other week a relatively basic idea is copied word for word and rated? Rob Top agreed. Phase 3. Rob Top for the most part stopped rating 9 circles levels. He expressed disdain for the similarities between each one. Down base really does that to a guy. So what now, GD players probably said in unison as Trump circles only got rated instead of featured? Well, phase 4. Suddenly good 9 circles levels started getting made. Let me stress, good in terms of having unique and well made decoration because the levels I'm about to mention, their gameplay, 
Uh, we got the secret box, proving no 1.9 level was actually good. We got flat major for you psychopaths, Bausha and Belengu Vortex for you sink nuts, hateful reflection for edgelords, arctic lights for my Canadian friends, Q effect, uh, well they can't all be winners. Although minor, the limitations of 9 circles level started to breed creativity. We live in an era where every 9 circles level doesn't look the same, despite older 9 circles levels making it seem that they can't not look the same. Wait. Doesn't this invalidate my argument? There's one fatal flaw with effect layouts that prevent them from ever leaving stage 2. Rob Top. What if he just doesn't stop rating them? Maybe this is a slippery slope fallacy, but if a similar event to NC levels happens with effect layouts, the game could be filled with these kinds of levels for ages. So what, right? As long as they're at least not abysmal like Bliss, right? No. Because humans are lazy. Freya points... I wrote the letter C and the letter P in the script, but I'm not about to get flagged. Creator point farmers will look at effect layouts game rated and be like, yo, I'm into it. The bad gameplay of featured section creators, coupled with the ease of access, coupled with the possibility of getting rates, it terrifies me. Again, I don't mind if people just want to make these levels. I'm just going to squint at you for making them. And even more so at Rob Top for rating them. Rob Top. Why do you refuse to rate levels based on games? Why do you let extreme demons get away with Why do you have to rate, Why you have to rate hot dog Redux? Why was Coral Why do you want to introduce a new race? race? Maybe Why do you want to already Why do you want to a game that you don't know about the game to- Why when I release a shield button to parry, it doesn't go through on Smash Online? Why is this game not ready to take you so long to- That doesn't count as being annoyed by the way. While entirely personal, I think my main annoyance with effect layouts is that they're so safe. When I look at an effect layout like this, I feel nothing. It's like some of these featured section levels, but the community likes them. I've mentioned this once or twice in my last few videos, but with the sheer amount of objects and effects around the game, seeing them be squandered for no reason other than seemingly laziness makes me upset. You know, I've been going back and forth and back and forth on giving up on this script. But thinking about it, how stupid would it be to have this annoyed rant about effect layouts and how safe they are, and then play it safe and scrap it? You! You have to be bold. If you want to do something special, do it. If you want to make a weird level that's not an effect layout, go ahead. Obviously it's not that simple, but what do you have to be afraid of? Twitter users? Okay, yeah, make an effect layout if you want.